meeting people or a game, approaching for a game approach, like say at a club or something at night, obviously. Or What's like my opinion? Or Are you saying would I be open to being approached day, night? At yeah. Whole Foods, yeah. absolutely. As long as you have something really good to offer me, like a good personality or some entertainment. Or if you're going to approach me and go, hi, do you like those oranges? <laughs> and be like, yeah, I, I, I'm getting 12 of them and putting them into my cart. Of course I like oranges. Oh, really? What other fruit do you like? Like, no, I'm not going to want to continue conversation with you. But if you do offer me something, it doesn't have to be like the most spectacular sentence ever said in the entire world. But if there is something more that's being said where underneath the sentence is, I don't need you to respond to me. I'm literally just reaching out to you because you're standing beside me. So the method that I teach for conversation is observation and sharing. So that you break into a conversation using observation. You, for, you forget all the stupid formalities like, hi, my name is Dave and I saw you from across the room and you're very attractive and your breasts are very perky. Let's have coffee. I don't like that shit. I think it's weird and awkward and we've all heard it before. Um, I do like it when guys are like, oh fuck, these oranges, I love vitamin C. Like I love things like that because it catches my attention and I'm like, I love vitamin C too. We should have vitamin C together. I don't, you know, like let's be healthy and have kids. I don't, things like that. Uh, that that's what I respond to. But it's, the, it's not the words that he's saying. It's like the underneath. Same thing with people who peacock. Yes, mystery can, can wear a unitard and have black nail polish and carry a lunch pail into, uh, you know, like the hospital and people will think it's super attractive and sexy, but some other douchebag who can't own that, who's wearing like a boa around his neck and he's like walking into a place like this, like he'll get kicked out of the 99 cent store. Like they, they don't even want him there and that's what everybody wears at the 99 cent store. So <laughs> like it, it really, it, it's from within you and you, you have to start building it up. It, it's not a magic pill and there are times where I am very against pickup stuff. I, but it's not against the pickup routines and systems that are created. It's the way that people use the, the pickup materials, where they literally start belittling women and they start using them as, as, as like pawns in their game. That's when I think that it's bullshit. But I do believe that like every other skill, you have to have a system in place to learn from. Because I can't just say be yourself. Because you're like, what? I am, I am being myself. There, there, are, there are different steps along the way that you do need to go through. And the people you know, that are on stage today, it, it kind of is whoever you resonate with if you do want to read their material, materials and, and, and try other things. But ultimately, it comes down to you putting in all the practice. It's not going to happen by you like <laughs> sitting in your living room with 18 uh, manuals, free manuals that you got from signing into somebody's website and then four DVDs that they showed you about mastering day game and night game. It's about you literally stepping outside of the house and saying hi to that first person. That's when it begins. So you have to make those things happen or else you're never going to see results.